Rival Schools, United by Fate, was a fighting game developed by Capcom in 1997 as their main foray into the 3D fighting game space after Star Gladiator. Capcom was desperate here to have a successful 3D fighter after the popularity of, you know, Sega's Virtua Fighter and Namco's Tekken. And their answer was Rival Schools. The player chooses a team of two characters and fights against other two-person teams. However, all the fights are one-on-one. -on -one. The only time you see your partner is when you use a bar to do a bigger attack, where you either do a devastating attack or maybe heal depending on your partner and what move you use. <laughs> It's only when you win or lose, you get the decision to either keep playing with the character you are now playing as, or switch to your partner. The game is the classic 4 button setup, 2 punches, 2 kicks, with a big emphasis on air launchers and air combos. Every character has a universal high and low launcher. I hadn't played Rival Schools in a decade, I would say, and even then I didn't own it, I just played it with friends. I was really surprised when it worked so well, and I had so much fun with it. And I honestly kinda really like it now. The usual high school setting isn't anything new, in, especially in Japanese games. You know, think of Personas and so on. The director, Hideaki Itsuno, wanted an experience that everyone can relate to, and, you know, the first thing he thought of was schools, everyone's gone to school. So, all the characters are either students or school faculty. In Ohara City, several different schools have been targets of strange incidents, like kidnapping and assault. The different characters in the different schools in the game set out to solve the mystery and stop it, leading to various interactions between the schools and the characters and, of course, different fights. Eventually leading to the elite school of Justice High, who is responsible for the attacks. Where you promptly go beat up the first boss, the principal of the said school. And if certain conditions were met, you can face off the true final boss. After promptly beating the game, you get a nice 2D cutscene with some more story. Did I mention the PlayStation version of the game comes in two discs, with the second disc mainly being mini-games, which are, you know, simple fun games, whatever. The main gripe I have here, the main mini-game, was School Life, and was cut out from the English release. It was one where you actually made your own character and lived a year of School Life, and once you finished, you could take your own character into the fighting modes but stating times, you know, problems and whatever, they didn't localize this mode. 
and it makes me mad. I wanted to play a fighting game, dating sim type of thing where I could go interact with the characters and, you know, all that stuff. That would have been great. God damn it. When originally developing it, Capcom wasn't very sure of the sales potential here, so they even put uh, insurance there. The ever popular Sakura from the Street Fighter series, just to boost some sales. Which of course makes rival schools canonically in the same universe as Street Fighter. But all their concerns were seemingly completely unfounded, as it was very popular during its heyday. Game Machine even voted it the most popular arcade game of the year. Which of course prompted Capcom to make a sequel, and it was equally beloved. But unfortunately the series never reached the same heights as Street Fighter, so Capcom eventually decided that it wasn't worth it and stopped making more games. Even though the director has expressed some interest in making a third installment, but he has also said that he is unsure if there is actually a demand for it, as it, to be fair, has been almost two decades since the last game. Interestingly, the fan favorite biker chick, Akira from Rival Schools, will be coming to Street Fighter V in a DLC package, which, how Capcom is doing this, could definitely be a way to see if the you know, old school fans will come out and how many of them actually are there. I won't be surprised if during the same time they've maybe even re-released some of the old games. It is definitely an overlooked series nowadays, and has almost completely disappeared from the minds of people, except you know, nerds like me who like old fighting games. And unlike for example Darkstalkers, which still lives on with cameos and dedicated fans, it seems only those who played School Rivals in the late 90s and early 2000s know or remember it. But let's make this clear. This is a ridiculously fun game. If you like Marvel v Capcom or Tekken, this is the perfect mashup of them. You wouldn't think those two styles work together, but yeah, it, it actually works quite fun and it's really fun. And I, for one, would love to play a modern version of Rival Schools, but I'm not getting my hopes up just yet. Hey, if this video piqued your interest, go try it. Uh, mm, which might be quite hard, as it has not been released in a quite a while, but you could always sail the seas and find a copy that way. It deserves your attention. Come on, go test it out.